welcome back. So nice to see everyone. So we're gonna start sitting up nice and tall. Good, and I want you to get into the most comfortable position that you can in your own body. Good. And we're gonna be talking today about something that comes up during the holidays, which is this idea of joy. But we're gonna be looking at it a little differently for this class. So first, I'd like to start us off with our time in, our breath. We're gonna learn breath of joy. So everyone go ahead and come up to your feet. You can stand in a mountain pose so you feel strong and balanced. Good. And so the arm dance goes like this. Up, down, out, in, up, drop. Good. Except on the drop, you let yourself really drop. And then slowly, taking your time, roll yourself back up. Ready? Here we go, with our breath. In, out, in, out, in, out. Amazing breath, everyone. Tuck your chin to your chest and roll up slowly. Let's try one a little faster and then a little slower. Fast one first, ready? In, out, in, out, in, drop. Hmm, think about how that one made you feel. Now let's try the slow one. Here we go, in, out, in, out, in, out. Slowly roll up. And then gently and carefully take a seat. So everyone feels joy in different ways. What is joy? So I'm hearing some wonderful answers. Things like happiness, or maybe it's a feeling, okay? So then how does joy feel? Splendid. Ooh. Excited? Wonderful. Amazing. Awesome, everyone. So I'm hearing things like splendid and awesome and good and happy and excited and all kinds of different words. And it means different things to different people, right? Finding your joy. If you could choose one word to describe joy, what would it be? Again, wonderful ideas. I'm hearing more things like happiness, splendidness, wonderful, amazing. Really nice choice of words, everyone. Last question. Where do you look for joy or find joy? Really, really beautiful answers, everyone. So I'm hearing things like playing with our animals or our friends, helping people, giving back and finding things in nature or in the environment, right? Things that mean something to us, that brings us joy. Really, really nice. So as we move through our yoga class today, I want you to think about what that feeling of joy is like in your body, in your heart, in your mind, in your brain, and how can you bring more joy in your life through your yoga? Ready? Okay, here we go. So let's start with a pattern. Go ahead and open your knees up, touch your toes behind you, sit back and find rock pose. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. So right away, as we move through this pattern, find the moments of joy. From rock, let's move up to table. Press your hands flat, open and big like bright stars. Good, drop your belly, look up to the sky. Curve your back for cow pose. Then pull your belly button in, reverse your curve, come into cat. Then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, press into downward dog. Big breath in and out. Gently drop back down to table and sit back for rock. Breathing in and breathing out. 
Let's repeat our pattern again. Rock pose, table pose, cow pose, cat pose, downward dog, breath in and out. Drop to your knees and rock. For this last time through, take your time. Think about the joy that you can find, you can discover in each pose. We'll finish back in rock pose all together. Ready? Begin the pattern. breath everyone I could really hear everyone breathing slowly rise to table tuck your toes one more time come into downward dog and then look forward tippy toe behind your hands find a gentle bend in your knee and walk your hands up your body slowly protecting your back your spine and allowing yourself to grow tall and strong. Nice. So let's try to find joy in each and every yoga pose and experience what that's like for each of us because we're all so different. First of all, two fists together. That's how we can measure our mountain. Good. Now stand tall and strong. I want you to use your imagination about all the things that mountains face. Storms, earthquakes, eruptions, hail, snow, ice, heavy, heavy rains, mudslides. But what do those mountains do? They stay tall, they stay strong, they have an inner power. Find that now. Beautiful. Big breath in and out. So sometimes when something's challenging, right? It completely can change how we feel. But we can use that inner power, that inner joy to help guide us into the next part. Okay? Let's come to the top part of our mat once more. Bend your knees and slowly fold down. Step back, please, into downward dog. Look forward at your hands. Make sure your fingertips are wide. Good. Bend your knees if you need to. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now listen carefully. Take your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Take your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Come into a frog pose. Good. I'm just going to change my facing so you can see me. Okay. Hands come together. Or maybe you keep them in front. Right? Find your frog. Maybe it's imagining being like a frog. Maybe that's what makes this pose joyful. Or maybe it's a really good hip stretch. Or maybe it makes you feel like you can calm down. Maybe it's the excitement of jumping like a frog. Whatever it is, just think about that. Tune into it. Okay, we're gonna go twisting frog. So what I want you to do is take your right hand and put it down, and then reach your left hand up to the sky. I like to imagine that maybe I'm gonna catch a fly. And then I'm gonna eat it because I can. Very nice, good. Hands back. <laughs> Laughing is joyful, right? Left hand down. Right arm up. Up to you, catch a fly or don't. Zip. Mm. Nothing like a good fly. Okay, from here, gently reach back. Have a seat. Bring your feet together into butterfly. 
Now, I've been seeing lots of butterflies recently. I've actually seen the caterpillar. And then all of a sudden, there's a new butterfly. And I know you guys know how that works. So here's what we're going to do. Sitting up tall, imagine yourself first as the caterpillar. Close your eyes. Think about transforming into your chrysalis. And before you know it, you're free like a butterfly. What brings you joy in this pose? Is it the connection to the butterfly? Is it the feeling you get when you imagine something free? What is that for you and how can you hold on to it? Slowly rise all the way up. Good. Before we get into our relaxation, we are gonna do one partner pose. So if you two could please come to the green mat, and if you two would mind coming up to this mat, we're going to do seesaw. So the first thing you want to do is face your partner and open out two legs. Good. Now remember, we want to kind of accommodate or make adjustments for our friends so that we can reach hands. So maybe it means you need to sit a little wider. Maybe it means someone's legs are on the inside. Good choices, everyone. Once you can reach their hands, check in with your partner. Are you ready? Yes. Then one person goes back, one person goes forward. With every breath, you change direction. Couple more times. Wonderful breath. I like the communication that I'm hearing. That's enough. Please stop. Feels good. Really, really nice. One more time each way. And then find yourself back to center, holding your hands in the middle. Check in with your partner anytime before you exit the pose. Are you ready? Yes. Gently release your hands and then give them the nicest, kindest, joyfulest, that's not a word, most joyful, <laughs> high five. Say thank you. And head back. So some of the ideas we talked about at the beginning of class, one thing that came up was the idea of finding joy in other people or our friends or our family. So something like a partner pose maybe for you, maybe for me, helps me make that joyful connection to other people. Okay, so here we go. We're getting into our deepest sense of relaxation. Remember, the inner joy, that joy that you find inside yourself, that you found through all your poses today, that's something that's there. You just have to tap into it. So in order to really feel it, Let's go one more time into rock pose. Stretch your arms wide. Drop your head down. Take some nice deep breaths. Reflect on how you bring joy to yourself. How does your inner joy support you in your life? You can either stay here for our visualization or if you'd like to make your way onto your back, please do so now. Close your eyes, breathe and rest. As if you're falling asleep, let go of all thoughts. Just feel your breath. I'll wait for everyone to settle, sigh and melt Release any wiggles, movement, and tension. 
When you're silent and still, I'll know you are ready to listen. With every breath, you become more and more relaxed. Great. Imagine you have a magic mentor to talk to. Someone who knows and loves you better than you do yourself. Someone you can always trust, who cares about your feelings and who can help you with anything and everything. We'll call this wise, loving, helpful friend your inner advisor. Let them appear to you now in whatever form they choose. An animal or a person, a warm, glowing light, or someone that you know. You may simply feel their presence and not see anything. Accept what comes as long as it feels caring and safe. Tell them what's going on with you and ask them any questions for which you are seeking clarity. Listen to your inner advisor's responses. They may come in words or pictures or just as a feeling of sudden understanding. Consider what they have told you and imagine dealing with your problem as they have suggested. How would it change things? Can you act on their advice? If not, why not? Discuss those considerations with your inner advisor now until you feel you have a new perspective on your concern and have learned all you can for now. When you feel complete, thank your inner advisor and say goodbye. Remember that you can meet with them any time that you desire by simply imagining them with you. Now it's time to come back to the room. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take any final stretches that feel good to you on your back or on your side. And then make your way all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up with a sense of inner joy, we'll finish with a big breath, ocean breath in through your nose and out. Happy holidays, everyone. Great job.